I have now had the opportunity to be fully briefed with the details of the unprecedented events that took place in Christchurch this afternoon. It is with extreme sadness that I tell you that as at 7pm tonight, we believe that 40 people have lost their lives in this act of extreme violence. 10 have died at Linwood Avenue Mosque, three of which were outside the mosque itself. A further 30 have been killed at Dean's Avenue Mosque. There are also more than 20 seriously injured who are currently in Christchurch A&E. It is clear that this can now only be described as a terrorist attack. From what we know, it does appear to have been well planned. Two explosive devices attached to suspects' vehicles have now been found and they have been disarmed. There are currently four individuals who have been apprehended, but three are connected to this attack who are currently in custody. One of which has publicly stated that they were Australian born. These are people who I would describe as having extremist views that have absolutely no place in New Zealand and in fact have no place in the world. Our national security threat level has been lifted from low to high. This, I want to assure people, is to ensure that all our agencies are responding in the most appropriate way. That includes at our borders. Many of you will have seen that Air New Zealand has cancelled all turboprop flights out of Christchurch tonight and will review the situation in the morning. We are a proud nation of more than 200 ethnicities, 160 languages, and amongst that diversity, we share common values. And the one that we place the currency on right now and tonight is our compassion and the support for the community of those directly affected by this tragedy. And secondly, the strongest possible condemnation of the ideology of the people who did this. You may have chosen us, but we utterly reject and condemn you.